Welcome or welcome back, everybody. My name is Monique, and I'm on a financial health journey to create an inheritance for the generations to come. I want to do that through consistency and discipline. Today is May 3rd, and I am here to do an April closeout for my sinking funds and for my credit debt update as well. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for, who has liked or commented on any of my videos, and especially those that have chosen to subscribe to my channel. I truly started this as a way to hold myself accountable, but I understand, recognize, and appreciate the community as a whole. So if you're rocking with me on this journey, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't made up your mind yet, sit with me for a spell. At the end of this video, if you like the content that you've seen and you find it to be valuable, please feel free to subscribe. Um, today we are in Notion. So I do use Notion to, just really quickly, um, I do use no, Notion to track expenses, to track my bills, et cetera, uh, but that is still being done primarily as a part of my digital planning um, and how I'm handling my um, expenses, my budget, et cetera. So I still want to do that. That feels the most comfortable for me. But um, when it comes to tracking my sinking funds and tracking my credit debt um, update, I felt like it was easier to do in Notion, so that's what we are here to talk about. So we'll skip all the other pieces um, that I'm tracking, and we will concentrate here. We'll start with the sinking funds. Now, this list of sinking funds was for April. It has changed. I did create a video uh, two, three videos back where I did a condensing of my sinking funds and my binders, et cetera. And so with that, I will see a change in the sinking funds that you will see for May. Um, but I wanted to keep things consistent for all of April so that I could get those final numbers. And then in May, I, I have my new categories and my new amounts. All right, so what you're seeing here are all of the sinking funds for April. And you'll notice that things were a lot better for April, as far as more money I've been able to save and less money that I ended up having to spend out of these categories. I think that was primarily because of the mini Monday savings challenges. A lot of those savings challenges went towards some of these sinking funds, and I decided to close all of those out for the end of April and start fresh in May. I went ahead and allocated those resources to these April uh, sinking funds, and I think that that's why where I saw the boost. So those mini challenges to feed into these sinking funds really has been a plus for me. Um, Xerxes definitely saw an increase because of that. Gifts got a little bit of love and you'll notice here we have the difference. So this is how much that I've actually been able to either contribute or ended up having to spend. So Xerxes definitely um, got a little bit of love. His was a, one of the um, Items that we had in the mini savings challenge, self-care, as you see here, was able to contribute um, another $165 there. Um, you'll notice here for property insurance, I did contribute money there enough to take care of the property insurance for the month of May, the May's payment. I've already made that payment. I now have an ending bal balance of zero. That is one of the sinking funds that went away. I'm now going to treat it as a bill. And that's the note that I have here. Uh, same with lawn care. I saved up $100. I've already used that money. They've started to cut my lawn now, of course. You know, we're in spring slash summer. And um, now that's going to be treated as a bill as well because I do have a new company and they require us to have a credit card on file. So that will be treated as a bill as well. So that one is going away. Um, and... Yep, I think that's it. Those are the main ones that we covered um, where I see most. Oh, and home decor. So home decor was another one that we had um, as one of the mini challenges. And I wish was one as well. Um, so you can see here at the bottom, I started with $2,151 in uh, my sinking funds. Um, the ending balance was $2,606. And so even with paying emptying the property insurance one and the lawn care one, I still had a gain of $455. So I'm going to count that as a win. And then as far as debt update is concerned, let's get there. Alrighty. So here's all of my debt update. Um, the consumer 
debt is what I'm mainly concerned with. So I'm trying to figure out how to get that mortgage out. Um, but it's there for right now. And I will give you a final total on consumer debt in a moment. So uh, Best Buy and Rooms to Go are both at zero because I have not used those cards, nor have I, uh, and I've already gotten those balances taken care of. Kohl's, I did the standard minimum payment, um, $86, $24.82 went, to, went towards the principal. Alley got its minimum $27. That whole $27 went towards the principal because I'm on a 0% interest there. Discover, I paid $100 on that one. It's a little bit more than the minimum. The minimum is 54, I paid 100. And that full 100 went towards principal because I'm on a 0% interest right now. Student loan A, um, I paid $20.66. $7.87 went towards the principal. Uh, so that one's not moving a lot. And we really need to tackle the student loans overall. Uh, Green Sky, I paid the minimum $89.75. $43.34 went towards the principal on that one. My other student loan, um, student loan B, I paid $60.89, $25.35 of that went towards the principal. Um, for my car loan, I paid the minimum of $503, $316.85 of that went towards the principal. And although I'm not counting it in my consumer debt overall, my mortgage, I paid $715.00. $183.01 of that went towards the principal. So if you look here for my total debt altogether, um, I started at $158,262.26. I paid $1,602.30 of payments. I did not have any additional charges on anything, which is great. My ending balance was $157,534 dollars and two cents and so I've been able to pay seven hundred and twenty eight dollars and twenty four cents towards the principal. I'm gonna take that ending balance of one fifty seven and I'm doing this off camera five thirty four oh two minus one oh nine one oh nine twenty four and that means that my total consumer debt, which is what I'm really working on, is $48,424.78. Okay, so that is it. Very quick video. Just wanted to share with you guys the sinking funds and the April debt update. And I'm going to go really quickly. I think for May, I've already set up. Let's check. Yeah, so for May, I've already changed over my categories. You'll notice some additional ones here. I've been able to add my family binder and my self-care binder here. My um, sinking funds overall were collapsed. I took the high priority binder, low priority binder, coupled things together. And now I just have 10 sinking funds overall. And then I have um, items for my family binder and I have items for my self-care binder. And those are the three bi or personal binders. So those are the three binders that I now have. And I'm starting with a balance of $2,942 for the month of May. So there you go. All right. I think that is it. Thanks everybody for your time. You guys have a good one.